It's one of the best times to come up to Strawberry. This weekend should be just prime. Hey, I'm Adam Eagle. Thanks for tuning in. Here with Cameron Phillips and uh, Ice Off is finally starting to happen. I, finally is the right word. <laughs> We're here uh, two weeks into May and just barely starting to get to where we have some things to fish. We've got to wear waders so that we can get out but we're gonna do it. All right, we're gonna go over what to use, where you can go right now, and where you think we'll, you'll be able to go here in the next few days, and hopefully get you up here catching some fish. Let's go do it. You look good in those waders. I feel good. <laughs>it's coming up so fast like right now we're getting lake rise in the three to four inch a day range and so if nothing else by by saturday we'll have picked up another almost foot of water and that puts the water to here versus where it is now that's that's quite a bit of quite a bit of space to fish oh nothing it's a lot more cloudy this year it is a lot of runoff a lot of runoff the uh the whole valley spilling into the lake right now and that, uh, that brings a lot of mud with it. Ah, nutrients. Yep, yep. Well, we're gonna have some healthy fish and they will, uh, they'll do pretty well this year through, through ice off. There we go. Oh! Get another bite? Yeah. Oh, that was a hit. Oh, fish on! Nice. Skunk is off. You were out here earlier, what'd you get? Uh, pretty good mix. Three cutthroats and two rainbows. So now it's three and three, so it's looking good. First time trying it this year. Cameron gave me a call and asked me to come up, so I can never say no to fishing. <laughs> Brown feather jig. I lost my black jig, so I had to switch to brown. <laughs> Talk a little bit about access today. It's not very good. No, no, we're uh, we're just barely starting to open up places to <laughs> weeds to get to. Soldier Creek is still inaccessible. Um, the road into Renegade probably won't be accessible until mid June. Really? Um, you think it'll take that long? I'm, I'm betting early to mid-June, somewhere in that 5th to 10th range is where we finally get enough snow melt that, that it'll uh, be accessible. Some of those drifts are big. Really? Yeah. Bureau of Reclamation's headed into Aspen right now, uh, so it'll, it'll be open at least to the dam. Oh! And then we'll see what the, what the weather does for us. Oh! That's where we're beholden to it at this point. It was just a wonderful little rainbow. Oh! Same fish. They seem to like it right now. If they're not hitting black, brown's always a good color to try. Sometimes even purple. The skunk is off! Finally caught a fish! Boy, one thing you'll notice this year with strawberry, where the water's coming in, it is off color. Little rainbow. The skunk is off. And you also notice that the bite gets better as the sun gets lower, as it normally does. But here, for some reason, they cruise into the shallows, seeking out that any food they can find. There you go. What do you got? Nice cutty. We like to throw those little black feather tail jigs, um, little black marabou's. And when they're not working, we go for the usuals. A little better. Nice cutty. White tube jig. Power bait's always a go-to when the fishing's a little tougher. You can come to Strawberry, throw a power bait rig out there, and generally, you know, pull some fish up. My goodness, he wasn't coming off. Get this one on. Uh, black feather jig. Never hurts to run two rods, one with an active presentation and one with a passive. That was a good release. <laughs> <laughs> so we're here on a Tuesday and there's not that much open water to fish, but by the time you see this, come Saturday, 
and Sunday. There should be quite a bit of open water here at Strawberry. I bet we're a good week, maybe 10 days before we have open water on the Soldier Creek side so guys can get their boats in. Um, if you do come out uh, for ice off, just use a light rod, four pound test, six at the most. The key though is having the right lure. And there's a lot of lures I'm sure you could use, but we've had a lot of success with just marabou jigs. I've caught a couple on this brown. Um, we've got a few here that are black and they have some flash in them. We call them black death. Something that the Phillips boys turned us on to years ago and they seem to work really, really well. Oh. <sighs> you dog! What are you doing? Spitting on your lures? What is it? Another cutty? What is that, like seven? Six or seven? Oh no, more than that. Like nine. You guys have some big changes coming up sometime this summer. Yeah, we're gonna start to uh, put some new buildings in the ground and expand and try and catch up with the population of Utah. We're gonna add to, uh, some a new store and space for that, a new hotel uh, and space for that. And then just the changes around the area, the marinas uh, that come with, with adding that, that kind of space, uh, just make it more accessible and, and a little bit nicer. Our restaurant's gonna go a little bit bigger. We'll be able to service uh, 100 to 150 people and the store will be more than it is. Everything will just be a little bit bigger. I heard mention of a swimming pool and maybe saunas. Yeah, yeah, the uh, hotel's got a uh, hot tub and a pool drawn into it, so we'll have that. And just, we're looking at, at activities that allow people to come up and experience strawberry more than just fishing. We're timing right now to start in the fall, and the hotel is a 18-month uh, build time, so we'll start it in the fall. It will open following spring. So we're looking at maybe 2025, early 2025. Yep, yep. and then the retail space, the store is a 12-month build, and we're gonna start it in the spring. So both of them should open spring 2025. There we go! What? We're all in. We're, it's been a long time coming, and a lot of hoops to jump through, but I think we're pretty close. Oh! Little rainbow. We have found all the rainbows. What do you got? Nice cutty. This whole next week ought to be just great. Yeah. Yeah, it should be, and it wasn't bad tonight. No, we yeah. still caught this. We're close to a dozen, 10, 11, 12. <laughs> Someone caught fish tonight. Hey, uh, Soldier Creek, I would imagine two weeks or a week from this Saturday. I'm thinking around the 20th okay. is, is when we'll see ice off. It might just melt off. I mean, that, it's, it's just straight slush out there. Yeah, it'll go quick. Well, get the boat ready, get up here to Strawberry, come say hi to the Phillips boys and uh, ask them some questions about the new lodge. I'm pretty excited for it. We are too. Bring the family up, go swimming. Yeah, yeah, we are too. It's been a long, long time coming. Hey, I'm Adam Equal KSL Outdoors. Remind you to get with your family, your friends. Come up and make some memories on ice off outdoors. We'll see you, good night.